Hello again, everybody. Welcome to AMA Air. I'm Chris Savage. And I'm Erin Dobbs. Thanks for joining us again. We're back from sunny California where we had a great time meeting so many of you at AMA Expo West sponsored by Ready Made RC. Absolutely. I know I had so many wonderful members stop by and say hello. Of course, not everyone was able to make it out to Ontario for the show. For those who couldn't, I think we have just the ticket, right Chris? That's right. For those who couldn't come to Expo, I thought I'd try to bring a little bit of Expo to you. AMA Flying Site Coordinator Tony Stillman joined me to see the sights and the sounds of AMA Expo in something we're calling AMA Expo Express. Hi everybody, I am Chris Savage and I am here with Tony Stillman. We are going to take a walk through the trade show floor at AMA Expo West 2017 for AMA Expo Express. Okay, so is this a chaos? Yeah. Okay. I thought that that's what that was. With, Look, a, with a craft signature series, with Cal Calor's uh, modification with a 2.4 spread spectrum. He hand built the first 600 of those. They were all hand built. Seriously. Every one of them was hand built. It's not not a production thing on a. On, these were all hand built, custom for the customer. Had their own name engraved in the oh, name wow. plate in the front, and they would ask you where you wanted switches and buttons placed, and they did all that stuff specifically for you. So it's like a Rolls cool Royce thing. radio. Yeah, absolutely. It's pretty Unbelievable. Cool. Pretty cool. Before I was even alive, Tony. Yep. Somebody was making those radios. Old, uh, really good selection of old vintage radios from way back tube stuff. In the early days, way over here on the left side, it's really cool stuff Holy to uh, push button stuff where you push a button and you get full left rudder, you push it again, you get full right rudder, you push it again, you get neutral. You had to know <laughs> what you're dance, doing there. Dance on the buttons to fly. Really cool collection of stuff. So wow. That's awesome. And I think what's pretty cool about this show is it's a little bit smaller aircraft. A lot of uh -huh. the stuff you see at the other, some of the other shows are really focused on big, big airplanes. But not everybody builds big airplanes. Yeah. A lot of people build small stuff. I say small stuff. It's a that's a nice size airplane. But well, I'll tell really you cool to see that 80 inch wingspan airplanes. Um, really nice. Smaller like that, you know, when you see some of the level of detail that's in some of the stuff on a smaller scale, it's that much more incredible. Yeah, it's really cool. The craftsmanship. And that some it of these are, are started from a typical kit. You know, it's not a, not anything that's special, but they put in a lot of time. Right. Adding little details and little rivets. And sure. Cool. Sure. Very cool. It's our buddies from XPS. What's going on? Hey, Tony. How are you? Yeah. Good, too. Good to see you, man. Good to see you, too. All cool stuff, man. Yeah, this, 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 this we're made here. In the, this is really what started the the, the large air, aircraft motion or movement of specific engines that were designed for model aircraft. Really? And they... They were from the start with you know, the Tournament of Champions. The DA engines were the, the standard. It still is the standard. Everybody's. I had no everybody, idea. Yeah, they're really, really Made cool. in the U.S. That's pretty cool, too. I'm at Castle. I'm kind of in my camouflage in the, right, yeah, in the Castle booth. Like castle. There's our, there's our Just, Matt can't sponsors. even see me anymore because I got my Castle blue, lanyard on. Blue, yeah, yeah, gone. Blue, hey, where'd right. Chris go? He gone. <laughs> CST is cool. They got they bring all your composites from stuff to make carbon fiber, Kevlar, okay, fiberglass, and they have a lot of training. All these instructional books, really good and help you learn that. Teach you how to do it. Teach you how to do it. Yeah, you've never done it before. So if somebody like really me good. doesn't fiberglass yeah, my never, hand into the airplane. Yeah, but learning all the cool things and how to do it is you know you get scared about something you never messed with before, and they know how to do it. And they know how to do it. Now, do you know anything about these guys? Um, yeah, this AMA, thing. AMA, the AMA guys are. You know, Got to keep them straight. I don't know how we do that. So yeah, so this we actually just ran a product review of this in Model Aviation. So we've Very had cool. uh, 
flight video, like a five-page product review. <laughs> and it is super, super cool. And the video will be in the in the digital version. So yeah. If you have the digital version, you can see the flight yep. review. Yep. Cool. Awesome. I don't know of anybody else that makes that. No, no, you don't know. No. I mean, there there possibly is some plan somewhere, but I don't think I've ever seen it. So that's that's really unusual and cool. Seeing These models cool. every single day in that magazine, I had never seen one before. No, no, that's that's a new one. I really enjoy seeing the clubs here too. Yeah, I'm glad the clubs show up. It's a good way to advertise what they do and who yeah. they are. Keep it in the helicopter. Yeah, I probably could, barely, but I, it would say one at a time. <laughs> one at a time. Oh, I forgot they did the RC car track here. Oh, oh, oh. oh. That's going to leave a mark. Yep, that's going to leave a mark. How are you? Good. Yeah, clubs. That's one of the really active clubs in the area. Really yeah. good. Let's so see. Matt wants at least. He wants at least one of these. Well, yeah, I can I can imagine. That's a that's a on your Christmas wish list. Yeah. So look how beautiful finish this is. Yeah. How's it going, buddy? Best handshake. Best handshake of the show. <laughs> <laughs> So this is a two-part paint. Yeah. So it's got the catalyst in with it, and so you you activate the catalyst uh -huh. in the can, so it becomes a, a like an epoxy paint. Right. Match for the pink monocoat and the red monocoat and the ultra coat. Yeah. So now you have a way to match it all up, so it looks really good. Oh, that is super. And it's cool. really good well, quality stuff. Hey. Like, I'm not sure if that's the one, but I think that's the one that they. Power, it's electric, but yeah. they power it with a laser that they, the laser beam that they point at the wings and it's got like receptors or something on the wing. You're kidding me. It grabs that. So they, they, it'll fly as long as they point the light to it. Seriously? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh my God. And, and, I, and I think I said something to Mark about it and I thought he said we had that in the museum for a while too. No kidding. Is that, Mark, is that the one that has the, the is powered with the laser? Yeah. Yeah, okay. That's one of them. So that's, that's pretty cool. Okay, yeah, that's super cool. So it's got some kind of a, like a, I guess like a battery things on it. In, in the museum, yeah. And, and you know, to, to see it in person, you know, it'd be one thing to like see it on Wikipedia and be like, oh, that's what it is, that's cool. But to actually be here and I'm like, you know, a foot away from it. And that's where the start of all the big designs, you know, start with something simple of the model. They yeah. take some concept and, you know, pretty simple. We've got clay on the nose to balance it. I know that, yeah. <laughs> Just simple little model techniques that you do. Yeah, you think of NASA, you don't think, oh, we need a little weight in the front, so we'll take some clay there. No. But that's what but, it is. But that's, that's the best way to do it. It's yeah. techniques that we've done forever and ever. That's really something. When we think of trade shows like AMA Expo, of course we like to think of cool new products from top manufacturers, industry leading speakers, and lots of fun activities for all ages. But one of my favorite things about AMA Expo is getting to meet all of the club members from the area that come and set up booths for the show. You know, I was so happy to see so many clubs involved in not only being part of the show, but in helping set things up as well. For example, the Pomona Valley Model Airplane Club helped set up the aircraft that we saw hanging from the ceiling, and they even helped set up the drone cage. That's right. But why would a club want to have such a big presence at a trade show? Well, I went around to some of them to find out.
what a lot of people may not realize is when you come to a trade show like this one, not only do you have lots of hobby shops, lots of manufacturers and vendors, we also have a huge and important presence from our AMA clubs. And I wanted to talk with you a little bit about a couple of things, maybe to start with why it's important to come to these shows and set a booth up. It's really about exposure. Uh, we're a very lucky club as far as we've got a, a good sized membership. We run anywhere from three to five hundred members in a year. Well obviously we use this as a, an, an outreach program for some of the people that come that are not modelers, okay, and we also use it as a fundraiser. Okay, it helps bring in money because we will um, raffle off with a donation of plane every year. So it's a nice way to making some extra money and meeting a lot of people and seeing what's out here. What well, AMA, our club has designed our booth to uh, capture new members and renew our old members as they come by, as they explore the show for vendors and so forth. So we present ourselves as a, a club for all pilots and in, include everyone that's involved. I mean, we're here to you know promote the club, uh, promote the activities we're involved in. Basically, we're here just to get the word out and try to get new members. You know. Has that worked out for you? You guys had a lot of attention this year? Um, the year before last, I believe we we got five new members from here. That's fantastic. This year, we have gone through about 150 of these pamphlets. Everybody's very, Everyone seems to be more interested in the float fly than anything. Um, certainly training is one of our biggies. Um, we have, you know, uh, first Saturday of every month, we have training at the field, open training for anybody. You know, parents, kids, families, whatever. Um, we, we provide the, our equipment so nobody has any risk of losing a plane they may have just bought. That's our big thing is, you know, we don't want a, a, a new modeler to be frustrated by a crash. So we want them to be successful. So we'll provide the equipment, buddy box. So we do that at least once a month. Um, although we have instructors there every weekend, so it tends to fill the weekends up. We have a, a basically a pilot training program called Fly for, for Free. Uh, you can get to that on our website. And uh, once that's initiated, uh, contact is made. Uh, we assign uh, an instructor pilot to them, and we basically let them fly limitedly but enough to get there uh, to find out if they really want to do this it doesn't take long and uh, that's completely provided fuel everything through the club and again that comes from being uh, having the finances to do that as well well again we like to uh, accomplish a lot with the general public we, we wanted to, to send out a, a word for everyone to, to get into this hobby and, it, and it's an affordable hobby, and a lot of times people think that it's going to cost so much to get into, and it really doesn't. That's why we offer kids to come on out, young as well as old, and we, we try to get everybody involved. We, we have pilots that are 90-some years old, and we have pilots that are 7 years old wanting to learn. So it, it doesn't matter the age. Just come on out to our field and experience the, the, the joys of flight. If you want to see more from AMA Expo West, be sure to check out modelaviation.com where you'll get to see all of the coverage for the show. We'd like to give a big thanks to Motion RC for their sponsorship of all of our video coverage. That's all for this episode of AMA Air. If you have a story idea for the show, please head over to air.modelaircraft.org and send us an airmail. And if you're not already a member of the AMA, visit modelaircraft.org where you can sign up to become one. Until next time, Thanks for watching.